Hello, hello, hello. Hey guys, friends, we'll be back into this new video tutorial with OSP Pro. In this video, why don't I say that I am very glad to have you back on this video. I have a system of mine that I haven't designed some few time back. But I just wanted to let you guys know how it works, how to operate some things like that. How does it operate on all those features? So this is a system for a school management system and it's automated system. It has all features what other people may need. Most of the features are enabled and you can also provide settings. Let me just not take a lot of time, just take you straight to the login panel. If you happen to go on login with the login details, trust me, you can't access it. Obviously, that's it. And refresh is up itself, so it always took, take, took care of that. Now, on the other way, and after login is successful, it takes you to the panel, and then you being possible to enter into the details of a given student. Now, this is it finally here. Uh, this is just like a demo, demo system. So. Uh, it's yes, it's what I'm using at the moment, but then on the other way around for you guys who may need it I'm going to design for your own so you can take order today. You can request for order and then you, you Get it. Now. This is it. The system works in this way After you log in you can also add system users like you can see I have my friend from Tanzania called Yasin. He's a very good guy uh, Blah 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 if you add the details. I think you Just add Yasin if that's the spelling gender male the phone number, I think this is the number. If that's the case, I don't care. So you can provide the photo. Oh yeah, you can provide the photo of that given individual if you have. I'm just gonna take that because I don't have the real photo. Password, I'm just gonna put there. You are seen with single S, and that's it all for for my system user. So when I add, I added. Oh sorry, I didn't. Put the put password don't match. So I'm going to put there. Seen like I've said, you're seen. Um, I'm just going to put your screen there. In the end, I'm going to add as admin or users. You just add as users and then phone number. You can also provide the password, maybe B, B, and then you enter here and give the details if it's that. When you click the add system user, I think you can see the system has already added that given user. When you go to view users, you should find your screen added here with even the photo of that given system user. The status zero because it's not logged in. Yes, from I'm here down and that's my details, so I'm logged in into my system. Then on the other way around, the system also has a panel for adding up students. You click that, add up a given student. So you just go here, maybe I'm going to add this good friend of mine. Uh, she's called Martin. Very good friend. Yeah. Uh, maybe whatever name. Yeah, so if that's the name, you just going to put a Ugandan. Maybe female plus maybe first term or second term. This is a primary system, primary learning system. But I'm, I'm trying to show this for the second part of it because I also have the second system. And then here the date of birth. Here I'm going to change for you panel if I told you want this system because I can make it this to be look more nice. The class you can always speak as expected. You select this color body and then. It, you provide the photo if you have i can just provide the photo to be that one there so here enter the details of the father if that's the father i can put that one as brother if possible brother because this is my sister so if i happen add here i can add the class teacher as expected make the class which is paid when i click add i think you can see the system is adding up that given system user and all the details are going to be taken to the system and then on the other way around here where you say to enter the father the father should get message on the phone you see this system of mine it has an api enabled and it sends message on the phone and i wish i could show you uh, the message at the moment that i've just sent on my phone i would actually let you guys know the message they sent to me so it has message api i think it just had the message just pop up right now it says actually hey Gucci, david Macklin is enrolled at the OSP primary school class B6 term 2 academic year 2020. Wow, that's great. I think I'm going to send you the screenshot of this system so that you guys who may be interested to take part of this system or to watch how this system works. I'm really going to be interested, uh, interested to have this shared with you. Otherwise, that's how the register system panel. 
a user. You can also view, uh, sorry, sorry, you can also view here one on us as a PPU. I think you can see this knuckling I've just suggested her. I didn't take care of this very well, but I can take care of that now. If it is okay with us, so that because it's showing me uh, underneath underneath PPU. I think here it is showing me something. Uh, here it's showing me, yeah, yeah, registered is not tracking that. You see, but that's not a big deal, that's not a big deal. You can always rectify that. Then here you can always edit up a given details, you see. Then also here you can print up that given details or that given students. I think you can see I'm printing up the details. You okay? get so that's the details for that. I can also take care of this. I can print the ID. By the time the student registers, the ID will be done. And I think you can see, my friends is raining, that's why many may not hear my voice well, but I hope you get me very well there. Then here, the admission will also be done. I think you can see. Just a matter of printing up there. That's it. Then without wasting time, the system also has a panel for uh, admission. Which is still the other very part I'm just from handling with you. It's just that part. So we move it off. Then here it has also fees. So go there, click fees. You can just go here and take care of that. So I have Maclean. I have Maclean. I have Maclean. So here I'm just going to add the amount of money that given student is to pay. If it's 300 given assurance, how much is he having at, at the moment? Is maybe 100. When you click make payment, my friends, I'm going to disable uh, SMS because I don't want to get SMS on my phone. I'm finishing up my API. I don't want to, to waste a lot of my SMS on this demo, but otherwise it is sending SMS on my phone. So if I click there, I think you can see it's bringing this error this time around because it will be sending SMS on my phone. If I go on here to check that, I think you can see the Baker P6, time to this amount of money pay. And if you also go by in Rebecca and click there, you should even see the time and seconds in which they happen to pay make payments and i think even you see the balance the system tracks the balance i can go further and i do more payment by just going here and select the bank i think you can see the id moves together if i just happen to come in and i say she's going to pay 130,000, when i click there it also has to bring for me error there because we have sent on the phone but does not limit my system to work locally that's the good important thing that i will talk about my system before programming i design system that can work on just online and also works offline so you don't need to take care of online or offline cost you can leave that to me and i take care of it for you now on the other one i think you can see the balance and our system is very wise it even it takes things and tracks all the transactions within the time and seconds in which the transaction took place and even the balance that we expect at the end of the day and i think you can see so your receipt is done by me just clicking there my friend i should just say well, thank you for doing a good service with us and you are very warm and welcome so otherwise that's how the system reacts on the other way around my system has a panel i give assumption let me just leave this other and i take you straight to examination I give assumption this is the beginning of term okay here the system does not track the date uh, like you've seen blah blah but i can go on here and I try to do that editing i think i made some mistake on the time of designing this database because actually i've made some mistakes on this database so i'm just going to come in here and and select one of us current date you get yeah let's be happy current date not done whereby if i have to refresh here i should have the current date you get and if you want to go further and say you know what i want current date but then i don't need date i need it to take current time stamp you get so it will be in position to track even this time so I'll, i'm going to do that in according to rectify that so this is our student is beginning of term and then this is beginning of term so here i just need to take care of that this is a math, she has got, maybe got that, this is that, and I've happened to do all the grading in this system. 
So if I come back here and I put maybe 70 and I click add, definitely this, the student or the system is going to be, the marks is going to be added. And when I click to view marks, I should be in a position to view that. And I think you can even see the percentage taken care of. If I click here, I cannot print anything because I need to add also the teacher who has been teaching that student. So I just need to add the teacher who has been teaching math. This is the student who has been teaching math. So here you select maths. So here the math teacher is David and then English teacher is Olo and then uh, SS teacher is uh, Faith and then Science teacher is David. When I click there, that's good. My system is done up with completing all what's needed. So I don't need to take care of that now. If I just click here and I go back on to uh, McLean, McLean, uh, Rebecca, blah, blah stuff and I click there, you should have all the receipt, the stuff ready. And the system will even give you the division of that given student. And this is my grading scale. I think you can see that. We will shake that from here. Let me print this down for you so that you can really witness what I'm talking about on this coronavirus environment of today with my system. Otherwise, if you happen to go back here and then just click on my system here and try to come up with that, you'll discover that my system is very simple to use and has everything integrated. Let us just try to achieve assumption we are going to change this up the grading. At least let's change this mathematics to 74 or oh, oh, 74. Good. So I'm not going to waste time. I'm just going back to my database uh, where I'm going to change the, the teacher and maybe where is it? Subjects. I'm just going to change the subjects so I know that's the teacher with me. I number two. So I just need to edit that. Otherwise I'm going to change this one to maybe 65. By the time I click go and I then go back here. The grading should change. As I refresh the page, I think you can see, and that's division two. My friend, why don't you buy the system and stop suffering? Please, check the system and stop wasting time. Otherwise, that's how the system works. If you go back to the other side now to print the system, and that's what I expect at the end of the day. So if you happen to go back in here to print, my friend, all your work is done. Otherwise, I wish you the best and if you find this video interesting please don't 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 fail to comment me don't fail to send me a message i hope it is not going to be a virus otherwise have a blessed day though there's another part of the system that i didn't explain to you for instance i can also go back this system of mine is too big like for instance i can even change the name of this school that implies my if you have branches of your school you don't need to buy many systems from me you just need to buy one system and i show you the settings of that given system that you can even sell it, you can even put in another school of yours the condition is going to be as long as it is your school because my system has a behavior it has artificial intelligence anybody behind mine i will get to know if i told you right otherwise when you click there and go back here and change the school title everything is going to change the school system like for instance if i put the system called Dar es Salaam, Dar es Salaam, maybe uh, primary if it is primary school if that's the case if i click here to change i think you don't check their stuff this if i just refresh this page if i just refresh if i just go back i think you can see Dar es Salaam primary school. So my system has fully changed. So but otherwise, my friend, why don't you take this system so that you can become part of the global? Have a blessed day and may God bless you. Stay safe and remain blessed in Jesus' name. Thank you.